Hello, this is Adrian from 3D Proto. After showing the first testing with the dual parked extruder in video number 1, now it's time to show the dual parking extruder during printing in part number 2. Later on, I will also show how to set up slicer for the new dual parking extruder. This will be the final part 3 of this video series. For the printing, I use black and white ABS and the print speed of 30 mm per second and the layer height of 0.35 mm for the first layer and 0.2 mm for the next layers. The dual parking extruder is equipped on a Prusa i3 but can also be adapted for other FDM printers depending on the X-ray layout. At the beginning both extruders need to be parked outside the printing area. I use solenoids to pick up one of the extruders and drive these solenoids with the M42 command and a connected relay. The M42 command can drive digital outputs of your printer board when using Marlin firmware. This kind of dual extrusion is solving two major problems of fixed side-by-side -side dual extrusion. The using of the idling extruder on the model and also the scratching of the second extruder on the top layer of the model. While the idling extruder is parked, the nozzle is plugged with aluminum plate to avoid oozing. The first layers of my next printing were done by the second extruder. Here I printed with a speed of 40 mm per second and without brim. In both printings the extraction before tool change was disabled, leading to some strings in the edge of the printing. I need to change this in my slicer settings for the next printings. Here you see the final outcome. The first model in this video was printed with a brim, which I removed with fine sandpaper afterwards. I printed with 30 mm per second. The first couple of layers were printed with only the first extruder moving, with the last layers with both extruders simply alternating. The first layers of my next printing were done by the second extruder. Here I printed with a speed of 40 mm per second and without brim. In both printings the extraction before tool change was disabled, leading to some strings in the edge of the printing. I need to change this in my slicer settings for the next printings. Hope you enjoyed the first printing video and I could show you the working principle of my dual parking extruder. In the third part of the series I will explain the slicer settings for the dual parking extruder. This video is coming soon. For more information you can follow me on Google Plus or visit my homepage 3d-proto.de